What's up guys and welcome back. Today is the day. I finally got my plasma table from STV CNC. Um, I just got a five by five for the shop. So today we're gonna unbox it and start assembling it. Um, kinda gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it in here. I'm thinking in the corner. The shop is super tiny in here and it's gonna get even smaller cramming this table in here. So I was thinking I would stuff it in the corner and have like a little grinding area and toolboxes like cornered off, but I don't know, we'll see. I might end up having to put like toolboxes along the wall or something. So let's get into this thing. Getting everything unboxed and laid out. We got the control box. We got all the cables and motors and stuff. The track system where the cables run through. All the hardware laid out. And then I added on the homing kit and the leveling feet. So we're getting there slowly but surely. I think the most time consuming thing is just taking off all this layers and layers of wrapping. But we're getting there. Um, up until this point, it just tells you to hand tighten everything, um, not tighten anything down. Because we're gonna go back and square the table up next.
so lesson learned. Um, plan this all out before you start setting everything up because I screwed up and the the Y motor cord is super short and it comes down off that track and only makes it to that corner. So I was going to put the control box on this side, have the table in the corner, um, and then have my computer over here. But I have to have the computer over there because the the cable from the computer to the control box is only like five feet long. So I should have put the whole table in this corner, but now it's all set up and it's super heavy and hard to move. So I'm just going to leave it in the center and then I'll do toolboxes over here or something and then build a table for the computer over there. Um, but yeah, terrible planning on my part. I thought that it would be a good idea to have the track up against the wall, that way it's not getting bumped and messed with, um, but apparently you have to have the track on the side that you're going to put the control box. So yeah. Well my camera died during that last time lapse, so uh, quite a bit changed. So this is where we're at now. Had to move everything around, I'm going to put toolboxes over here, it's getting super cramped, but kind of is what it is. So got the beds in, I painted the back side of them. That anti-rust stuff should be okay with the inside. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too rusty. So now I'm gonna do some uh, silicone sealant in between the crack and then uh, bolt it all together and let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow we should be able to fill it up with some water and uh, leak test it before we put the, the coolant stuff in there, so. did it. I think that just about wraps it up for assembling this thing. I'm going to let it sit overnight for the silicone sealant um, and then we'll water test it tomorrow. But this is about it. Um, I still got to organize all this crap in here. But overall super happy with how it came together. It took a lot more time than I thought but uh, it's looking pretty good. Got to finish up some little things here and there but so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, hopefully in the next video we'll be uh, doing some test cuts.